sharing with you the Clinique Acne Three Step Treatment. Um, this for me, as you can probably see, I have quite bad skin. Um, I've never really always had it. It kind of started when I was eight, 18, 19. Um, from then, I've just had these breakouts. Um, I've tried loads and loads of stuff. Um, and nothing's really been affected. Um, it might dry my skin out and then bring me up in really dry skin and then I get more spots. Um, so I thought I'd try this. Um, I bought this set from Nook Fantastic and at the time it cost me $23.99 which for a three step kit that is Clinique isn't actually that bad. Um, I'll have a look, see what the price is for you guys and I'll link it down below um, just so you can have a look if you're interested. Um, the set, it comes with three steps. So the first step is your foaming face wash and acne solutions. Don't know whether I'll be able to get it there for you or not. The bottles are a bit shiny. Um, but that's the cleansing foaming face wash. Um, that I'll be using in the first step and I'll take you through all the steps and you can kind of see how my skin then appears. Um, the next step, once we've done that, is the um, clarifying lotion. Now this, this is amazing. As you can see, I've already used lots of this on its own. Um, haven't really used it for quite a bit, which is why my skin is now in such bad condition again. Um, I really need to get into the habit of using this all the time. Um, when you first get this and you first use it, they do say to use it for two weeks solid first, morning and night, um, to be able to actually see the results. Um, and I would say that is very, very true, but I'd say after a week to a week and a half, I then started to see results in my own skin. But this is great, even on its own, um, it's fabulous. Lastly, once you've done your facial cleansing, um, you'll move on to the Clinique Anti-Blemish Solutions Moisturiser. Now, with acne and especially oily skin, I'm sure you can probably see it on mine because I've left my skin fresh for this today. Um, you think, why would you put a moisturiser on oily skin? Um, this is great though. It doesn't leave any oily residue. Um, it's not sticky. It really does just leave your face feeling amazing um, it's so soft to touch and without this um, because those products are so drying you will find you'll get the reaction where you end up with dry flaky skin and then you get more acne because of that so bear with me I'm gonna go and do the first step and I'll be back in just a minute hi guys so that is the first step complete Hopefully you can see how it's taken the sheen out of my skin. Um, it feels so clean, but what I will say is it is quite drying um, because it is acne treatment. So it's really important that if you're using the facial wash, that you're continuing with the three steps. Um, otherwise, your skin's just going to feel dry, it's going to feel tight, um, and it's not going to be comfortable at all. Um, so the next step in the regime is the clarifying lotion. So all I do with this is get a cotton bud. Um, these ones are Primark, the oval cosmetic pads. Um, really cheap, really good value. Um, and I like these because they're larger. So you can get around your face a bit easier with these ones. So all I do is, when the lid's on, give it a shake that mixes all the active ingredients in together and then you just want to put a few drops two or three um, onto your cotton cleansing pad and then you just want to get this all over your skin um, this feels great as well and even though you've washed your face with the foaming cleansing lotion you will find that there is probably still some dirt left on your skin um, and this will pull those impurities out. I don't know whether anyone else has heard this but I always heard when you cleanse your face always leave your nose until last um, because there's so much bacteria in and around your nose. If you do your nose first you'll wipe it all over your face 
don't know how true it is, but that's what I've heard, so I always do my nails last. And that is it. Um, so the cotton pad isn't too dirty, um, but there is still some little bits on there. And then from there, just want to pop the lid back on, you don't want to drop this stuff. And then it's time to use your moisturiser. Now you don't need loads of this, but you don't need too little either. Um, I would probably say about a pea size amount, not that much. And then what I do with this is I take the full amount off my hand, get it on my fingers, rub it between, and then I liberally apply to all the areas of my face first. Make sure you're getting all those dry areas and then slowly start to rub it in. that is the three steps done um you'll still feel it a little bit wet on your face for a little bit but hopefully you can see i've almost got like a jibby glow to my skin now um it's not really at all um and once that moisturizer dries and sets in it's so soft like you won't believe how soft it's almost like having a face mask on um it is great um the feeling you just want to go out and show everyone so that's what I'll probably be doing later. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like um, and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, what I will say is that Clinique have not sponsored this video. Um, this is purely my own opinion. Um, and I wouldn't tell you anything different, to be honest, <laughs> than my own opinion. But yeah, I, I think it's really good. And if you suffer with acne, definitely give it a try. Um, it might seem like quite an investment to begin with. But if you've tried other things like myself, it's totally worth it. Alright guys, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye!